Peace, peace, family. Welcome to another episode of YP Higher Perspective. We review internet media content via news clips, entertainment, or everyday recordings, and we give you a higher cognitive disposition in regards to the subject matter at hand. Today, family, we're going to be giving a YP Higher Perspective on Quavo's significant other, Sweetie, Shawweetie, however you say her name, making a comment, making multiple comments, but one of the comments that really stuck out with me being, if a man is not buying you a Birkin bag, then return him back to the streets. And so with that being said, before we give the higher perspective, we're going to pull it up as we always do. And we're going to play the clip. Here we go. And bam. Tom, if he not give you a bargain, if he not paying for your bills, then throw that nigga back to the streets, okay? Okay, so let's just jump right into this. Um, Here's my issue, right? We can talk about spiritual, physical world things, but we're just going to deal with common sense. Why do women place such a low level of value on themselves and then get upset when people don't value them? Now, here's my thing, right? You should buy either the woman you're with or, or the woman or women. I don't really care. You should buy the woman or women that you're with nice things predicated upon the value in which they bring into your life. Now, why is this important? If you are only having sex with me and in exchange for sex, I am buying you luxurious items or materialistic things, you are probably like three steps from being a literal prostitute and I'm like three steps from being a John or a trick. So here's my thing about women, right? It's specifically my race of women who are caught up in this Western societal culture and mind frame, right? What do you do? What do y'all do? Let's start, let, let's put the shoe on the other foot, right? Because women have let us know what they require in order for their in order for them to give up their vagina. Most women, not all, right? In order for most women. To give me their vagina, I have to buy them a physical item. Okay, fine. Right? I have to buy you a Birkin bag. I have to pay your bills. Now, here's my thing, right? What do you do? What do you do? Because what's happening is, is the men in our community don't see, they are chasing their own destruction with these women. You will never be able to save your money. You will never be able to run a business and become a CEO. And you will never be able to become empowered with these type of women. They are draining you mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and, finan and, and financially. Now, I'm going to tell you why I say this, right? And then I'm going to bring this back to my question once again of what do you do? If you are chasing somebody who has standards of a lifestyle that they themselves cannot provide for themselves or they themselves were not providing before you, you now have to drain yourself of the energy that you accumulated to sustain this person. So now you're in a relationship with a parasite. Let's just be clear on that. One. For two, this type of mind frame, right, is so destructional because... This type of female, what she doesn't realize is she's grooming younger black women to develop mentalities to where adult black men, and I don't mean age adult, I mean psychologically adult. Adult level minded black men don't want women like that. So what's happening is black women are saying, why can't we never find a good black man or why is every black man out here acting like a little ass boy? And I'm not calling Quavo a little ass boy, but I wouldn't have let my woman say no shit like that. And my woman would never even think to say no shit like that. Second of all, I'm not going to walk up in the camera after my woman say something like that and be like, I don't know, you heard what she said. Like, she didn't just drop a gem. She just dropped some toxicity. And here's my point. Can, that type, can this type of woman run a business? No. Do they know the difference between a C-Corp and an S-Corp? No. If, if, if Quavo ran a motherfucking company, whatever kind of industry it may be in, if he went to jail for five years 
Could she run the company? No. So what we have is a woman who is not an asset and actually has no value outside of her vagina making demands for a lifestyle that not only she cannot afford herself, but she cannot maintain if given the opportunity to maintain that lifestyle. So my thing is, you have good women out here who will nurture the mind of a man, nurture the soul of a man, nurture the home of a man, maintain, sustain, and bring value to the business of a man. And all of these women are being looked over and all of these women are not being afforded the opportunity to play the position that they actually can play because we got a lot of third strings in first string place. And so here's my issue, right? I don't mind providing a woman what she wants. But a woman must bring value into a man's life. Vagina is not value. It's not value. Getting some head is not value in regards to energetic exchange. It's not. And I don't understand why people put sex on such a pedestal where you put pleasure before business. What? I'm not buying you no boat. I'm not buying you no house. I'm not paying no bills. I'm not buying no Birkin bag just because you want to allow me to experience sexual intercourse with you. No, I don't mind giving a woman those type of treatments. No problem at all. But you must give me something that is a value. Can you give me a peace of mind? Can you give me a business idea? Can you give me something other than what's between your legs? Because I can go get that anywhere. And I'm not saying I approve of prostitution, but if it ever got to the point where vagina was really bad, you can go buy a prostitute. So vagina is not a valuable thing. What is valuable is spiritual composition and intellectual property. And so we got a lot of women out here, right? Because a person can only give you what they have. And a lot of women don't want to admit that they empty inside. You're not smart. You're not intelligent. You don't have no critical thinking skills. You don't, you don't have grace and femininity like a, like a woman should have. You're not a nurturing person. Most women, I don't know how this happened, but nowadays women don't like kids, which is crazy to me. So women are not even women anymore. And you requiring all of these things from a man that not only you can't give yourself, you can't actually play the role of a real woman. So what's happening is we got a lot of kids, okay, out here in adult bodies, male and female, setting relationship trends based off childish ideologies. Kids want constant gifts. Every time you want to stroll with a kid, can I get a toy? Can I get a toy? Can I get a toy? And that just evolved into, can I get a Birkin bag? Can I get a Birkin bag? Can I get a Birkin bag? And so you have adult size children trying to set the standard of relationships in the black community. And this is why we're not going nowhere. Because you might have $50,000. I don't really care how you got it, whether you was hustling, I don't care. You might have $50,000, right? But now you got to spend... How much of that on a Birkin bag? Your, if your woman will suggest that you buy her a Birkin bag before you buy her some property or you make a business investment, you need to put her ass back where you got her. Straight up. That don't need to be your wife. That need to be your... So here's my thing, right? And I'm not saying I, I approve of side chicks, but if you're going to do it, do it right. Know what a wifey is and know what a side chick is. From what's coming out of Sawiti's mouth or Sweetie's mouth, whatever her name is, that's a side chick. That's not a wife. You're not going to go nowhere with her. You're not going to go nowhere with her. And if, and if that's all it takes to sustain her, then, nigga, you always going to have competition. Because any nigga on your level of finance, and I'm not talking directly to Quavo, I'm just talking. A woman like that. Any nigga that can provide the lifestyle she wants is your competition. So you don't want a woman whose values and standards are so low that your level of competition is so high. Why? What kind of man wants... I want a woman whose values and standards are so high that she forces me 
to upgrade my behavior and upgrade my thinking to that level of height. You know why? Because my level of competition then becomes this big. It becomes low. Because unless a nigga is going as hard as I am, unless a nigga is self-evolving at the rate that I am, you don't have a chance of being on the woman that I'm talking to or the women that I'm talking to radar. So what's happening is our standards are just disgustingly low in the black community. Our values and our priorities are disgustingly low in the black community. And nobody wants to talk about this. And we got a lot of people who, out of all of the things you can do in life, you can, you can go bungee jumping, you can go skydiving, you can become an archaeologist, you can become a scientist. We don't have no aspiration. You can, come, you can become an astrologist. You can become a martial arts master. It's a billion things you can do in the world. But the only thing your woman is motivating you to do is spend your money on luxuries that are going to make you broke. They're not investments. It's not coming back. The, the, the designer, don't Gucci don't care about you. The creator of Birkin bag don't care about you. This, it, it, you probably can't even write it off as a tax write-off. And so with that being said... These women in our community are being psychologically programmed to attack the man. And they do it on every way, every level. It may not be a physical, physical attack, but it's damn sure a psychological and a financial attack at all times. And you might say, Pharaoh, why are you saying this? Any woman that makes you feel guilty or feel less of a man for not being able to afford her is a parasite. Period. That's what it is. You are a parasite. You are a parasite. Straight up. And, and because money didn't always exist. The white man created money. Let's be clear on that. So before money was a thing, what were relationships built upon? I'll tell you. Relationships are built upon creating heaven that exists in our own minds. Heaven in my mind is different than what's in somebody else's mind. So the heaven in my mind is supposed to be able to be coexistent with the heaven in my woman's mind. And in order for us to build them heavens, we have to add and subtract what we can and cannot tolerate and then develop behavioral patterns with each other to make sure we get there. So when we're talking about being in a committed relationship, it's not just about being emotionally there. If I'm somebody and I say, if my woman say, I like to get massages, I, I can commit to one massage a day every couple days, a week, whatever it is. And that and that's through happiness or grief. Because I'm committed. When you mad, you still go to work. When you happy, you still go to work. Because you committed to your job. So your relationship is supposed to have that level of commitment. If my woman says she want to live this way, and I say I want to live this way, now we have to merge the vision and make it come true. And then for the little things in between, that we individually require, we commit. So if I say, okay, this is important to me. Then my woman can then say, okay, I'll make sure I do that at this amount of time. Because this is the energy I can give to that. And I'll commit. And if she says, this is important to me, I'll do the same thing. That is how you build a relationship. That shit don't have nothing to do with no fucking Birkin bag or none of that. You get the Birkin bag after we build that. So if I say, hey. Knowledge, information, and pleasure in business and spirituality is important to me. And then we'd be specific on that. So if we say pleasure, I say, okay, I don't really like to club or shit like that, but I like to sip wine. I like to hang around the house and my sexual appetite may be a little bigger than the average person. My woman may say, okay, I can commit to that. Boom. If my woman says, okay, I like bubble baths, I want to I wanna experience massages, and I want to experience my pleasure in the form of this. I'll say, okay, I can commit to that. Boom. So whether we arguing or not, I know on certain days and certain times, this is when we get it in because we committed to that. And we sow behavioral patterns into our relationship that create the ideas of heaven that exist in our mind. And then if we can do that, that's called loyalty. That's called commitment. It's beyond sex. Even though sex is included, it's beyond that. And once we get there, now, oh, you can take my card and just swipe that motherfucker. You ain't even got to tell me. Just swipe. Just swipe. 
But you know why you can swipe my card? Because I'm teaching you how to get your own bag and you can stack your bread and just spend mine. Because that's what a, a real man does. He put his woman on. And you don't got to worry about your woman running off if your value high. Because she's going to respect you and love you enough to know I want to be here. I'm not here because this nigga is affording me a lifestyle. I'm here because this nigga is committing to the type of life style that I want to live. So I'm not investing in no Birkin bag. I'm investing in the mind of the woman or the women that I'm talking to. So with that being said, these type of women are deadly because they, they creating imaginary standards for you to live by, for you to spend your money with colonial entities who don't care nothing about you, and for you to feel less than if you can't afford it. And then for every younger black man that's watching that and can't afford it, now they willing to go out and commit a crime or do something stupid just to feel like they the nigga that the type of female like that will want because they don't know that that is actually a low valuing, I mean a low value female. Shout out to my boy Ace Hey Root. And so with that being said, you know, we have to get our minds together and we have to get our consciousness together as adults. And there comes a time where somebody has to say, enough is enough, that is not correct. And here's my thing. I'm not saying that people's beliefs in what they want is not important. All I'm saying is everything has a proper order that it goes in. The level of importance of a man paying your bills and buying a Birkin bag is down here. It's down here. It's not important. It's not important. It's all kind of shit going on in the world. All human trafficking is at an all-time high. Hunter Biden having incest with his own daughters on his laptop. I'm saying allegedly, but it's true. We seen it. And so with that being said, there's all kind of shit going on in the world. A Birkin bag is, is down here. Mind you, black people need to be the last people talking about buying a Birkin bag when all of our people is around the world being extorted. All of our people is around the world uh, being oppressed. If your woman is not telling you as a man to go outside and do something that's going to benefit your people, then that's not the woman you need to be with. And I'm going to end here, right? And this part right here is going to ruffle a lot of feathers, but it needs to be said. And I'm saying this from the most loving place in my heart because I want black women specifically to understand what I'm saying. And black women, y'all know I love y'all to death. This is why niggas with money don't date the average black woman. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Because the value system is destructive. And it's not like niggas is getting an asset. It's like niggas is getting a liability. And I'm going to speak from my point of view. I've been on a low. Even still to the till right now. I don't just be flexing what I do. I, I, I run businesses off the internet. But my thing is this. The average, you would be surprised, right? And I'm not making this about me, but I'm going to use myself as an example so I don't use nobody else. You would be surprised how many women slide in my DM, right? Don't know shit about me. Don't care what I'm about. Don't, don't even know who, who DM they sliding in. And they shoot and they shot. And, and I'm not, you know, mad at that. But here's the thing. The type of women that shoot and they shot is the type of women that I would never in my fucking life talk to at all. At all. And I don't want nobody who shot they shot to automatically feel like I'm dissing you because I'm not. So let me be specific. If you wearing blonde wigs and you eating pork. And you a G, you know, you 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 caught up in these colonial belief systems. All you give a fuck about is a Birkin bag. You party every chance you get. You're the type of person I'm talking about. So here's the thing, right? These type of women, they don't give a fuck about what I care about. I care about consciousness, nature, freeing my people. I'm passionate about life. They don't give a fuck about that. They just see a nigga that look like he got some money. I'm young, I'm handsome, and they want to come attach themselves. This is what I mean by parasitic. Because in their minds, I'm supposed to be introducing them into my lifestyle. And they don't, they don't even realize that not only do I not give a fuck about a Birkin bag, you're not even worthy of being in my lifestyle. So here's my thing about why, why successful black men don't really be dating black women sometimes. And I'm conscious. Most of these niggas ain't even conscious. And by me being conscious... I have compassion and understanding to wait on my people. But most of these niggas ain't conscious. Here's why. Women don't build you up. Women don't nurture your mind and tell you, nigga, you can do it. Women just want to come reap the fucking benefits after you get it. Here, case in point. A, a, a rich man will talk to a woman that don't got money. 
Because we don't care about that. A woman with money is not going to talk to a man that got less money than her. Because that's all women have been programmed to care about. Women want you to see everything in them that they refuse to see in you. Women don't care about if you got a mature mind, if you got a righteous heart, if you intelligent. They don't give a fuck about that. Women only care about paying a bill and what you can buy. Why? Not, not with most women. Why? Because of motherfuckers like this. And so good black men and good black women are never going to start bumping heads and meeting each other until this is no longer the prioritized narrative of relation, relationship-based functionality in our community. We have to totally destroy this shit and restructure what we engage in relationships based upon, founded upon, and what that blueprint is meant to manifest. Until we do that, we will, we will never have successful black relationships because we're not even getting in them for the for the for the for the reasons of success. We get in them for a Birkin bag. The woman want a Birkin bag and the nigga wanna say he want a beautiful woman. Two stupid things that are temporary. You're not gonna look like that in 50 years and that bag is not gonna be popping but it's not even gonna be relevant by next summer. It's gonna be another bag that's relevant by next summer. So the relationship is predicated upon Something that's completely dematerializing in value anyway. Anyway. So, the higher perspective in this video is this, family. Seek peace of mind. Seek peace of mind. See, when people ask me, Pharaoh, how you feel about interracial relationships? I already broke down scientifically how I feel about that. And the other half of how I feel about that, which I broke down, I'm bringing up now. Even if I don't approve of something, I understand. I understand. Somebody like me, I'm, I'm willing to wait on what I want to manifest. But that's because I'm conscious. Every man is not like me. So, you have niggas that get money and they just looking for peace of mind. They don't want no woman asking for a Birkin bag or no shit like that. They don't want no woman asking, can I dig in your wallet every chance I get because if you can't pay my bills, you are broke out of the That's not the value system a man wants to live by because honestly, we don't give a fuck. We don't value material. We looking for, we looking for substance, even though women think we not. And so, I, and I'm not talking about the baby niggas that was baby body. I'm talking about real men. And so what happens is, when you reach a certain level of success, there aren't really no black women up there. Most black women, and I'm successful, so I'm telling you from personal experience, most black women on a high level is either scorned, a nigga that already ruined them, or they think that they, they think that they don't need no man, and they got that. Toxic ass, feminist, strong black woman, independent black woman mentality. You don't really see no black women that's successful that really want to pour into a black man. Most black women don't think highly of black men at all. So by the time a black man becomes successful, the taste in his mouth is so bad from black women, from people like her, that he run off to somebody that's waiting for him in open arms. And I'm not saying other races of women are better than black women, so don't jump in my comments with that. What I'm saying is listen to what I'm saying. By the time a black man becomes successful, he get his mind right. He realize a certain lifestyle is not good. And he becomes successful, he runs to where he thinks he'll get the most peace of mind at. And he's not going get to get, get the most peace of mind with a woman that is constantly demanding from him things that he does not value. No grown ass man values buying a woman something constantly in order to prove her worth. Because a grown ass man knows that your worth does not lie in material things. Your worth lies in your intellectual property, aka your mind and your soul, which is your personality. And most women have shitty personalities and shitty mentalities and they cover it up by making themselves value for their physical be for their physical being, which also runs out of value after about four or five niggas then pass them around. So with that being said, women have to restructure their value system. And I know y'all don't want to hear this because accountability is a hard thing to do for a lot of y'all, but I'm gonna tell you the truth because I love you. And I don't want the whole world and I'm embarrassed, to be honest, to tell you the truth. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed because I'm black. And and, and I'm tired of the world Looking at our people like you can just fuck us for a Birkin bag. If you if you back a a, a wide of cash out, you can just ha do whatever you want to do with a black woman. 
Y'all think we don't know? Y'all been going to Dubai letting them niggas shit on your chest for ten for ten thousand. We know about all that. I know about all that. Excuse my language on this channel. We know about all that. Black women, and I get on black men all the time, so I don't want to hear that. I'm talking to y'all right now. Black women have to restructure their standards, their values, and the way they carry themselves in order for the rest of the world, as well as our community, to put some respect on their name. If you want these black men to treat you different and value you different, you have to treat you different and you have to value you different. And if you do not upgrade your level of value for yourself, then you will continue to face the problems that you are creating for yourself by the way you are carrying yourself. Most of these women are requesting bare ball minimum from little boys and grown bodies. And that's what they're getting and then they're complaining about it. Until you become a grown ass woman and learn how to carry yourself as such, you will never attract a grown ass man in your life. And with that being said family, this higher perspective was not to attack her or Quavo or anything like that. This, this higher perspective was to ask black women kindly to ask themselves, am I playing myself? Am I acting like a damn freshman in high school? Is my belief system horrible and trash? Am I acting like a child? Is my requirements and standards for me to let a man inside of my womb retardedly low? Not just low, ridiculously, stupidly low. Is actual so that question. If me buying you a Birkin bag and paying your bills is enough for me to put my penis in you, how, 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 much, how valuable do you really think you are? And with that being said, family, I hope this video teaches men what, what to look for in a woman and, teach, and teaches women what to look for in themselves. And with that being said, I love y'all. Peace.